Hi cuties! Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020, and it is our first day of YouTube lessons. How exciting! I was thinking we could start each lesson with a joke. Um, I have a friend here that tells me jokes. Most of the time they're funny, sometimes they're silly. Um, but let's see. Alexa, tell me and my students a joke. How did the lion greet the zebra? Very nice to eat you. <laughs> How did the lion greet the zebra? Very nice to eat you. <gasps> um, yeah, I thought that would be fun to start each of our videos with a joke from our friend over there. And yeah, I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoy the lesson. Alrighty guys, let's go over our we will. We remember how to do it, right? I'll say some words, you repeat after me. Alright, let's go. We will be able to ask and answer questions about key ideas in stories. Alright guys, here we go. Ask and answer questions about key ideas. So our learning target for this lesson is asking and answering questions about what you read will help you understand the text. So asking questions like, who's in the story? Why are they acting like that? I wonder if they did something different, if the ending would be different. All kinds of questions that we have when we are reading play a factor in really understanding what we are reading and what the whole text is about, what the story is about. So let's continue. It says, we ask questions to get information or to understand something. Often, questions begin with words such as, who our five W's, guys, such as who, what, when, where, and why. And they snuck in that H and that how. As you read, you can ask yourself questions about the text using those five W's and that H word. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Then you can look for key details. Ooh, there's one of our text features. It's in bold print, so it must be what? Important. In the text to answer your questions. So we're gonna look for key details in the text to answer our questions. So we might have a question like, where is the main character going? And they're gonna tell us using a key detail. Asking and answering questions will help you understand the topic of the text. Topic is also in bold print, so that also must be important for us to know. The topic is what the whole story or the whole text is about, the main idea of the text or story. So those are our two important words that we're going to focus on during this lesson, key details and the topic of the text. Alrighty, let's keep going. Alright guys, now they want us to look at this picture. What questions do you have about what you see? Let's take a look at the title of our picture. It says Prairie Dog Homes. Hmm, what questions do you have? Do you have any who questions? Do you have any what questions? when, why, where, and how questions. I want you to think of questions while you're looking at this picture. Take a look at all the areas and I want you to form some questions in your noggin about what you're thinking about this picture. Alrighty guys, using that picture that we were just looking at, the prairie dog homes, your next task is to complete this chart. There are one, two, three, four, five squares for you to complete. 
They gave you questions. They want you to answer those questions. And then they want you to support your answers with key details from the picture. Do not make up those details. You have to use the picture to help you answer the questions and to prove it with your key details, okay? So how you guys are going to do this is this chart and the picture of the Prairie Dog Homes are attached onto your Google Classroom. What you guys will do now is you guys are going to head over to your Google Classroom and you guys are going to sign in, make sure you're in your student account and you're going to um, go to your classwork tab at the top and you're going to find the language arts lesson for today, April 20th, and you will see the assignment ready for you. What you guys will do when you see the assignment is there is just a copy of the picture and a copy of the chart. I would like you guys to copy down the chart on a piece of paper at home and I want you to fill in the blank squares with your answers and your key details. All right, let's go over our we will again really quickly before we transition. We will be able to ask and answer questions about key ideas in stories. All right, my cuties. So we just went over our lesson about key ideas in stories, and um, we will continue working on that tomorrow. But what I want you guys to do now is head on over to your Google Classroom and complete that task in the Language Arts tab. Um, and then after that, I'd like you to spend 10 to 15 minutes on iReady, doing an iReady lesson, okay? Um, if you want to do more than 10 to 15 minutes, that is fine with me. That is up to you. The more, the better. The more practice, the better. Um, but I'll leave that up to you. But I would like you to do at least 10 to 15 minutes on iReady, on an iReady lesson today, okay? Alrighty, cuties. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. We'll see you tomorrow.